Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about circle of villis. Which arteries are involved in its formation and what is the clinical significance of it? Circle of villus is a circular network of blood vessels at the base of brain that ensure proper blood supply to the brain. First, to simplify things, let's see the formation of circle of villus and then we'll see its anatomical location. Arterial blood supply to the brain is by two pair of vessels. First one is vertebral artery and second one is internal carotid artery. These two major arteries gives off branches that form circle of villus. Let's understand these two arterial systems separately and then we'll combine them together. First, internal carotid artery. Right here we have arc of aorta which gives rise to three branches. First one is brachiocephalic trunk. Second is left common carotid artery. And third is left subclavian artery. Brachiocephalic trunk terminates into right subclavian artery and right common carotid artery. Common carotid artery on both sides give rise to external carotid artery and internal carotid artery. External carotid artery mainly supplies facial structures and neck. And internal carotid artery is the one which enters cranial cavity and carries main blood supply of the brain. It terminates into middle cerebral artery and anterior cerebral artery on both sides. Now vertebral artery. Again we have arc of aorta and its branches. Vertebral artery is a branch of subclavian artery. Vertebral artery from each side joins together to form basilar artery. Basilar artery then terminates by dividing into right and left posterior cerebral arteries which form the posterior part of circle of villus. Now let's join these two arterial systems together. Both these systems are connected by posterior communicating arteries, one on each side, which connects internal carotid artery to posterior cerebral artery and one anterior communicating artery which joins both anterior cerebral arteries. And that's how our circle of villus gets formed. Now if all this is cleared, we'll see how vertebral arteries and internal carotid arteries enter into cranial cavity. This is internal carotid artery which is a terminal branch of common carotid artery and it enters the cranial cavity through carotid canals on each side. Second, we have vertebral artery which is a branch of subclavian artery and it enters the cranial cavity through foramen magnum. Vertebral artery ascends in the transverse foramen of upper six cervical vertebra as you can see here. It doesn't pass through the transverse foramen of seventh cervical vertebra. Now let's see the anatomical location of circle of villus and the branches arising from the vertebral artery and internal carotid artery. First the anatomy of brain. This is medulla oblongata, bones, midbrain, cerebellum, temporal lobe, frontal lobe and occipital lobe. Coming back to the arteries. Right here we have vertebral artery which runs on the anterior and lateral part of the medulla. Vertebral artery on both sides give rise to one branch which joins with each other to form one anterior spinal artery. Anterior spinal artery goes down in the anterior median fissure of spinal cord. Second branch of vertebral artery is posterior inferior cerebellar artery which is the largest branch of cranial part of vertebral artery. Third, we have posterior spinal artery, which passes posteriorly around the medulla and then descends on the posterior surface of spinal cord. This posterior spinal artery can also arise from the posterior inferior cerebellar artery. Vertebral artery also give rise to some small meningeal branches and medullary arteries. Then ultimately these two vertebral arteries converge and unite at the lower border of bones to form the basilar artery. Basilar artery travels on the anterior aspect of bones and give rise to anterior inferior cerebellar arteries, several small pontine arteries. These pontine arteries pierce the bones and supply it. And then this basilar artery give rise to superior cerebellar arteries and at last terminates at the upper border of bones by dividing into right and left posterior cerebral arteries. This is internal carotid artery, which gives off numerous branches after entering into cranial cavity like ophthalmic artery, anterior choroidal artery, pericalosal artery, callosomarginal artery, 
एंड या ऑल्सो पोस्टीरियर कम्युनिकेटिंग आर्टरी इंटरनल कैरोटिड आर्टरी टर्मिनेट्स लेटरल टू ऑप्टिक कैज्म बाय डिवाइडिंग इनटू टू ब्रांचेस मिडल सेरिब्रल आर्टरी एंड एंटीरियर सेरिब्रल आर्टरी लेट मी फर्स्ट टेल यू फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट मिडल सेरिब्रल आर्टरी मिडल सेरिब्रल आर्टरी इज लार्जर देन एंटीरियर सेरिब्रल आर्टरी एंड इज डायरेक्ट कॉन्टिन्यूएशन ऑफ इंटरनल कैरोटिड आर्टरी एंड दैट्स द रीजन मिडल सेरिब्रल आर्टरी इज मोस्ट कॉमनली अफेक्टेड बाय सेरिब्रल थ्रोम्बोसिस एंड मिडल सेरिब्रल आर्टरी कैरीज थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ कैरोटिड ब्लड फ्लो एंड हेयर इज एंटीरियर सेरिब्रल आर्टरी नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ सर्कल ऑफ विलस एंटीरियर कम्युनिकेटिंग आर्टरी अलॉन्ग विद एंटीरियर सेरिब्रल आर्टरीज मेक द एंटीरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ सर्कल ऑफ विलस लेटरल बॉर्डर इज फॉर्म्ड बाय पोस्टीरियर कम्युनिकेटिंग आर्टरीज एंड पोस्टीरियर बॉर्डर इज फॉर्म्ड बाय पोस्टीरियर सेरिब्रल आर्टरीज Finally clinical significance of circle of villis First circle of villis acts as an arterial traffic circle and it can prevent conditions like stroke and other cerebrovascular conditions Normally blood doesn't flow through these anterior and posterior communicating arteries but if one of the major arteries forming these circles gets blocked for example if left anterior cerebral artery is getting blocked blood can pass through this anterior communicating artery from right anterior cerebral artery to left anterior cerebral artery or if left posterior cerebral artery is getting blocked blood can flow from internal carotid artery through this posterior communicating artery second is aneurysm aneurysms are these bulges on the arteries arteries of circle of villis are most common site for these aneurysms most commonly formed at bifurcation of these arteries these are secular in shape and also called berry aneurysms because these are berry shaped rupture of these berry aneurysms can cause subarachnoid hemorrhage okay so this was it for circle of willis if i made it a little easy for you or you learned something new don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel